this video is a lot, like... Okay, I've regrouped myself. <laughs> scared to film this video what's up guys this is one of the first videos I filmed this year and I just decided that I wanted to be super real and authentic and try and just like reach you guys this year and even though I don't have like a huge following if I can inspire or impact or give some helpful advice to at least one person then I'm winning so I asked you guys on my Instagram and my snapchat to ask me questions or give me something to talk about in a video where I'm being completely real and raw and honest I picked out three or four questions from all of them because a lot of them were the same. I want to be in depth with each of my answers. I didn't want this video to be too terribly long because I already feel like it might be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it and I hope you guys see a different side of me that I maybe haven't shown yet. I actually don't think I've ever done like a sitting down video before other than a haul, but that doesn't really count. I'm excited and I'm scared and I'm nervous, but I'm also ready to do this, so I hope you guys enjoy me exploiting myself on the internet. One of the first questions I got asked was, what is my biggest regret? I actually had to FaceTime my best friend and have her help me decide. For me, a biggest regret would be a decision I made or something that I did that changed my life forever. I haven't done anything like so drastic that it's changed my life. I came up with a few things that I've done repeatedly that I wish I would have learned from sooner. So the first thing is whenever I was in high school, many of you might know I used to, you know, drink and go to parties. In the moment, it was like I wasn't valuing or thinking about the future or like what else could I be doing that's going to be helpful to me in the future? Right now, rather than getting drunk with some friends, I wish I would have realized that earlier and not disappointed my family so many times and put myself in situations that I shouldn't be in. I wish that I had the self-respect that I have now or that I'm at least working on trying having now. I wish I had that more, or it was more important to me in high school, like it's important to me now. Doing those things with friends took away from a lot of family time, and it hurt a lot of my family. It hurt some friends, and I just think it wasn't worth it. But I will say, with that, I did learn a lot from those things, but I wish I didn't have to go through it as many times. It was like a cycle. I wish I would have just learned the first time. I could have learned my lesson and be done with it and it would have been fine. So that's one big regret. I guess just not respecting myself enough to know what's the better option. Another big regret that I have. This one is actually something my best friend told me. I've asked people multiple times in the past, what's like my biggest flaw? What is wrong with me? Because I just want to know what other people think and what other people see because what I see is so much different than what everybody else sees. Which is I guess a good and a bad thing because I shouldn't care but I was doing it so I can grow and learn. Because maybe there's some huge thing that like nobody likes about me and it's a really bad thing. Luckily nobody said anything like that. Um, comment down below. <laughs> I'm kidding, please don't. Two of my best friends that I've had for so long have always told me that I doubt myself and that I don't give myself enough credit and that I'm way too hard on myself. And it wasn't until this year that I really realized, like, I am. I'm so hard on myself because I compare myself to other people. I compare myself to my siblings. I always think I could be doing more and I'm too scared to try new things because I'm scared I'm going to fail or I'm not 
not going to be good enough at them. And most things that I've tried this past year, that I actually started doing them, I've been really good at them and I've had so much fun doing them and I've learned so much and it just goes to show that like you shouldn't ever doubt yourself and you shouldn't be scared to try something new just because you might not be good at it. And I know this song's super cliche. I just doubt myself. I don't know how else to say it, but I think that's one of my biggest regrets because I could have done so much and be so much greater if I wasn't so fearful of who I am. This video is a lot. Like, and we're moving on to the next question because we just need to move on. Another question that I got was, what was my biggest struggle moving across the country like I did? And I liked this question because I'm actually about to do the exact same thing and move back across the country. Honestly, the biggest struggle for me was not the actual moving part, but the leaving. Leaving my best friends and my family and just my relationships with everybody there was literally the most heart-wrenching, heartbreaking thing I've ever been through. I like I don't even know like how to describe what it was like leaving the house that I'd grown up in for 18 years and the town I'd grown up in for 18 years and the people I'd been with for that long. Come the end of summer, I pack up and leave everything I've ever known in this tiny little town it was just a lot, especially at the place that I was in because me and my boyfriend of almost a year had just broken up. I was already heartbroken and then moving to a new town where you don't know anybody, trying to find a job and trying to meet new people. It was just a lot. Now that it's all over with and I've been here for almost a year and a half, it's like been the best decision I've ever made. I love it so much here. I feel like this has been the biggest year of growth for me, which is why it's really hard to leave the people that I've met here because they were with me through that year of growth and change and really hard things that I've been through. It's been so good and it's been really bad at times too, but I'm just thankful for everything I've had here. And I'm so thankful that an opportunity for me, which is better than any opportunity I could have here, is so close to home. And I cannot wait to go back and be a three hour drive away from my family and friends and get to be doing what I've always wanted to do. It just took me moving here to realize that it's not here for me. Maybe I'll realize the same thing about the new town I'm moving to, but I'm 19. <laughs> like, I have so much time to screw up and to figure out what the heck it is that I want to do, and there is so much time for me to experiment and live in different towns and cities and states, and it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> That was the biggest struggle, was just leaving my family and adjusting in a new town where I didn't know anybody. It's just going to be good. I'm happy. I'm so happy with this. And I cannot wait. I literally want to cry because I'm so excited just about the growth that's going to happen this year in me. <laughs> yeah. Last question I'm going to answer is somebody asked me to confess something not necessarily confess but just like get deep one particular person asked me about eating disorders this this is not something I necessarily want to talk about on the internet and post it on YouTube for everybody to see and know but I'm doing this because it's a step for me and what I mean by that is I've struggled with two different eating disorders since I was in seventh grade 
and I'm in my second year of college now. So that has been something so consuming in my life for the past eight, nine years. I mean, at times it's been like life threatening. Um, it's not like it's a consistent thing, but I didn't tell anybody about it until January 1st of 2018 last year. And that was like one of my New Year's resolutions was I didn't want help at all, but I was very, very unhealthy and I had multiple symptoms and different things that were happening to my body that were not normal and that some of the things I will literally live with for the rest of my life. So I thought if I told somebody, then they would keep me accountable and try and help me and I didn't want that but I knew it was best for me I told my best friend whenever I told her I told her that it would be a much bigger step for me to tell my mom the only reason why I'm telling you guys about this is because without me even having in mind that I was going to film this video I actually told my mom about everything because she knew some but she didn't know the extremity it was at I told my mom like two days ago and it was such a good feeling and it's just so nice to finally tell people because it's a step in the right direction and a step for healing I'm telling you guys this because if any of you guys are struggling with this or anything, this is like your wake up call to at least make the first or second step in attempt to help yourself because it's never going to get better if you don't do that. I'm proud of myself for taking the first step in getting help. With that being said, I also had somebody ask me about self-harm and I'm not going to go too in depth this one I didn't expect myself to go as in depth as I did with the whole eating disorder thing I will say just like the eating disorder it took me telling people about the way I was feeling and what I was doing to my body to get better I am two years clean of any type of self-harm and that's really freaking awesome. <laughs> if you're struggling with it, talk to somebody who you know and love and care about. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This is a new year and don't be scared to talk about your struggles and your pain. I'm really excited now that I filmed this video because I hope that it reaches somebody. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me spill my heart out to you guys while sitting on my floor. Um, yeah. <laughs> and now this is getting way too sappy, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys take something away from it. I'm excited to take on 2019 with you guys. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.